Hi, and welcome to the Jelvix channel. Today, speed is everything. In modern web development, your website isn't just competing on features, it's competing on load time, responsiveness, and user experience. But with so many frameworks claiming to be the fastest, Next.js, Astro, and Quick, how do we separate marketing promises from real-world performance? So in this video, we're putting these frameworks to the test. We built the same project in each of them. A simple landing page with dynamic content, server-side data fetching, and interactive elements. And we measured what really matters. Load time, bundle size, server response, and interactivity speed. Real numbers, real scenarios. No hype, just facts. So let's dive in. We are Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe. And make sure to watch until the end to find out our final verdict on which framework works best for different performance needs. Buckle up, let's get started. First, to make this a fair comparison, we hosted all projects on the same Versal Edge infrastructure. Each project had a typical landing page structure with dynamic content blocks, API calls, and interactive components. Very close to what our clients request when building high-performing web apps. Tools like Lighthouse, WebPageTest, Chrome DevTools, and Webpack Bundle Analyzer gave our experts the data we needed to run a clean performance test. And so, we focused on four key performance indicators that reflect real-world experience. For example, time to first byte, the metric showing how quickly the server responds to a request, largest contentful paint measured how quickly the main content loads, while time to interactive marked when the page becomes fully usable. And we also captured total blocking time to highlight delays caused by heavy scripts. Plus, to assess efficiency, we tracked JavaScript bundle, which refers to the total size of JavaScript files users must download before interacting with the page, where smaller bundles mean faster load times and better performance. Total KIB transferred is another important metric reflecting the overall weight of the page, including JavaScript, CSS, images, fonts, HTML, you name it. It reflects the overall weight of the page, which directly impacts load speed, especially on slow connections. And also, of course, we didn't forget the build time, which shows how long it takes to compile the project before deployment. Finally, we evaluated the Lighthouse performance score. To replicate real production conditions, we ran tests across various server-side rendering scenarios, including static pages, long server-side calculations, and hydration-heavy loads. So let's get started. First off, let's look at Next.js. Next.js is a go-to solution for many of our projects at Jelvix, for good reason. It's stable, versatile, and provides a mature ecosystem for building anything from marketing sites to complex web applications. Besides, it's one of the most popular React-based frameworks, built for hybrid rendering strategies like static site generation, server-side rendering, and incremental static regeneration. Next.js offers powerful developer tools, great documentation, and automatic performance optimizations right out of the box. But despite all that, Next.js still carries the typical weight of client-side JavaScript. While server-rendered pages load fast initially, dynamic content adds extra bundle size and hydration overhead, especially for more interactive pages. To illustrate this, see the results from both test setups and real-life environments. Here's the key takeaway Jelvix experts made from these metrics. Next.js is a strong performer, reliable and developer-friendly, but not the absolute fastest when minimal JavaScript is the goal. This is what we expect from Next.js. Solid performance balanced with flexibility. For projects with hybrid rendering needs or dynamic content-heavy pages, it remains a strong contender. Next on our list, Astro. Astro approaches web development from a completely different angle. Its core philosophy is sending almost no JavaScript to the browser unless absolutely necessary. With Astro, static content is king, and interactive components are hydrated only when absolutely necessary. This is a philosophy Jelvix experts appreciate a lot, especially when building content-first platforms. Documentation portals, media sites, or landing pages where speed is critical and interactivity is minimal. Moving to performance results, Lighthouse awarded Astro a near-perfect performance score of 98 out of 100. Astro impressed us with a time-to-first byte, a largest contentful paint, and a minimal JavaScript. The time-to-interactivity compared to Next.js for static-focused pages is also significantly faster. So here's our verdict. Astro clearly dominates in scenarios where static content makes up the bulk of the site. 
However, it's worth noting that more dynamic, interactive applications might require additional configuration or workarounds. Moving on, let's explore Quick, arguably the most radical approach in this lineup. Quick represents what we believe is the next evolution in web performance thinking. It doesn't just minimize JavaScript, it defers execution entirely until the user interacts with the page. Instead of traditional hydration, Quick uses a concept called resumability, allowing the framework to pick up exactly where the server left off, without rerunning code unnecessarily. Noting that, Quick introduced some of the most exciting results we've seen in recent performance testing. Lighthouse gave Quick a performance score of 99 out of 100, with almost no client-side JavaScript running before user interaction. Quick delivered a time-to-first byte of 280 milliseconds, the largest contentful paint of 870 milliseconds, and a tiny JavaScript bundle of around 35 kilobytes. What also really stood out for us was the time to interactivity. That's industry leading, don't you agree? So here's our Jelvix verdict about Quick. Its architectural innovation around resumability is impressive, with a truly unmatched performance for interactive pages. But of course, Quick is still an emerging framework. Its ecosystem is smaller and earlier adoption comes with risks. But from a performance standpoint, especially for interactive websites, Quick is setting a new standard. For products where every millisecond matters, mobile-first platforms, high conversion landing pages, or resource-constrained environments, Quick offers a game-changing approach. So what's the takeaway? At Jelvix, we always approach framework selection through the lens of business value. Performance is never just about speed for the sake of speed. It's about aligning technology choices with business goals. So as always, no framework is universally the best. It all comes down to product needs, user expectations, and long-term scalability. If you're building a content-heavy platform where SEO, initial load time, and minimal interactivity are key, Astro is our go-to recommendation. If you're delivering a complex, scalable product with multiple dynamic views and custom user journeys, Next.js remains a highly practical choice backed by a mature ecosystem and excellent developer experience. And if a client comes to us with a performance-critical project, where reducing load times is directly tied to revenue or conversion rates, Quick is the framework you'd want to put on the table for consideration. So which framework will you use in your next project? Share with us in the comments. Also, watch our other trending video. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.